You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. Yo, what up? It's your boy Slim. Scored the strips. Yeah, this Nick Gleams. And right now we chilling here at the round table. Yeah. With Lenny S, Maya the B, yeah, Big yeah, Life. Yeah, yeah. He don't rock me TV. Don't shrink that screen. Don't shrink that screen. Chill. Baby. And get that mix in. Once again, we back live doing this Harlem thing. We're taking it uptown to the polar ground. We got the sons of Ducky Fresh and the uncle. And the uncle. What's up, Unc? Hey, Unc, I'm good money, man. Let's go. Let, let, me, let me ask y'all, does uh, your pops, the Doug, play, have a role in your career? Like, role. Yeah, he, he do a little bit, like, as far as, like, giving us advice. And, okay. You know what I'm saying? He move, he make different, like, moves for us that, that'll benefit us, but... Mostly just let us do our own thing. I was gonna yeah. say, you think he's tough on you being that he knows the game, he knows where to come from yeah. and how hard it is, or crazy. is it easy on y'all? Oh, like, yeah, he's yeah, tough. yeah. Crazy tough on us. Like, anything we do, he just did all the time. He's probably watching this and we ain't even telling him. What's about up, it. Dougie? Yeah. I know one thing, your whole styles are different from him, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole Nobody beatboxes out of the we, we, we whole... nah. <laughs> I know somebody box. knows, though, how. Nah. nah. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it real. I just know how to do He's one of the greatest entertainers I've ever seen live. Yeah, we learned. From Pops a, ain't no game. Trust yeah. me. We learn it down. He like yeah. the, the, the crazy thing about it is that till his day, like he's doing like 250 shows a year and he ain't even crazy. got no record out. So he's one of the few from the old I'm yeah. talking from the old school that ripped to me he's doing the best out of all of them. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me ask you guys a question. Since you were, you know, your father was a legend of hip hop, what was your first experience that you remember with hip hop if it was like an artist that you met or like you know even songs that you heard Is my first my ahead. first experience i remember when he took us i don't know if you remember this beat but we went we had went to um he took us backstage like this is around the time like when chris cross was popping how old were you and hammer yeah, yeah, I, I was i was probably like like five or really? four like okay. six not no no more older than six but he took us backstage and at this time like we was wearing our clothes backwards we was uh, trying to be just like chris cross right. so yeah. wow. he took us back there he introduced us to them it was back there they were smoking and all that but oh <laughs> uh-huh. I still, you like, remember that I'm yeah about. i remember like 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 clearly <laughs> i remember that but we we met them we sat with up and that, that 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 was a crazy experience for me. Like when you guys wanted to rap, did you tell him first or did you record music first and then present it to him? Yeah, we recorded like first and then presented yeah. it to him. Did he we laugh always at had the studio in the crib. Word. So we just recorded and we asked the engineer to record us. So we did a joint and let him hear it. And it was like some crazy, it. crazy uh, gangster shit. Word up. We and produced he was looking, that whole Oh yeah, show. we was played the like, beat. Yeah, oh yeah. We made the beat. But did he like respect swear. y'all the first time, or did he try to laugh like stop playing? Back then, he was like trying to like direct us on the on the right way to like to to rap or whatever. Because right. we was we we was in the streets basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we still are. We from Harlem. We be in the hood all the time. So we basically was just rapping about what was going on around right. us. You know what I'm saying? So he was just listening to the lyrics, and he was like, "Damn, like." Crazy. They, yeah, they growing yeah. up. He basically like set us up to be where we at now. You Are know? you signed right now or what? Nah, nah. Not even signed. Well, you right know right what? Now. We can't wait to see y'all get in this arena right here. I know you're gonna do that. That's where everybody with going. With Jojo, Jojo, and Team Blackout, you guys are gonna do like the L Sons of Hip Hop yeah, Legends. Like, like, coming up, coming up so early. That I like the fact that you know your son. I mean, your pops had you around uh, different eras of hip hop. Yeah, Crisscross. Yeah. You've seen the KRS era. You've seen the Nas Big Era. Yeah. Whatever being around it for so long, do you like the most? We each could like say because we each probably got different opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm My era, the era I like was like like the '90s, like when like when when it started drifting right back to New York when Biggie was yeah, killing. Yeah, mid '90s. Met them yeah. exactly. when it was when it was when it was crazy. Like when you oh, had man. to get up there and you had to go in. If you ain't go in, and they was like, he's trash. Yeah. So, <laughs> about, about I was you. like, I was really on the on the Mace and Cam. That was like too. late 90s. Yeah. Yeah. The corn era. Horse and carriage, Shiny all that. Era. Like, that's when, because Cam, Cam used to be on my block a lot on, on, in Taft. And one day I seen him eat, and I was I, I was on my way to the pizza shop. And he took me to the, to the pizza shop, bought me a pizza and all that. And I spit for him, and he was like, yo, just keep on rapping, son. Da, da, da. And you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yo, ever since Cam told me that, I was like, all them niggas could do it. So. You already know. Yeah, Would you guys consider about. being a part of a dip set or something like that? 
Nah. Okay. I can't yeah. see myself. I can't like, see. Music they don't wear pink. It's too different. <laughs> nah, but we was Y'all want to do your own thing. Yeah. 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 We don't want your own name. Yeah, we, we love the dip set, though, man. We uh, love it. Yeah. You already know. Let them, y'all going to come back out after and spit for us and everything. But for right now, let them know if they want to holler at y'all, how they can get at you, MySpace right. email. Yeah, MySpace. Yeah, you, you can go to the MySpace, MySpace.com slash square off. Square off. That's Q-U-A-R-E. Oh, yeah. Double F. We got our mixtape with DJ Who Kid. It's crazy. Where's the F? Go We got it in the back. We going to give y'all some copies. Yeah, put it on here. Okay. We got the um. Diddy is on it. Diddy Crazy Ball. Okay. Teddy Riley. Oh, yeah. Um, we yeah, need Teddy that tape. Riley we need that it. tape for the yeah. tape. Brother got Rick it. Rick Ross. Like, it's just. That's what it is. Square off, y'all. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. 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 Back out in a minute. This is going to be crazy. A legendary the sons night. Of, sons of Dougie Fresh. Team Blackout sons coming up oh, next, yeah. y'all. Don't shrink that screen. We live at the Rack Roundtable, baby. You are now at the Roundtable with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody. On with the show. Take a seat and tune in.